In this video, I'm going to be showing you a Boomi tutorial. So in this video, we'll explore how to get started with Boomi for integration and automation, covering the basics of the platform, creating integrations, and leveraging Boomi's automation capabilities. Whether you're looking to connect systems, sync data, or automate workflows, this tutorial will guide you through the essentials. So first, let's know what is Boomi. Boomi is a powerful integration platform as a service or iPaaS that helps businesses connect applications, data, and people to enable seamless digital workflows. With its drag and drop interface, Boomi makes it easy to integrate a variety of cloud and on-premise applications, streamlining data flow, and automating repetitive tasks. Boomi is a popular choice for enterprises due to its flexibility, scalability, and ease of use. It's suitable for businesses of all sizes looking to simplify complex integrations across various platforms and automate their operations. So now, Simply log in to your account by clicking here on log in in the top right or simply click on start free trial to create your account. So now after doing that uh, account creation or account login, you will now be redirected to this dashboard. So this is how your Boomi dashboard will look like. So you will see in the top all of their services, which is the integration, data hub, API management, the flow, event streams, and task automations. So for resources, you'll see here Boomi community, training and certification, documentation, and support. So as you can see in your homepage, you will see this get started section. So you can simply watch and learn the basics right here, such as for the integration, the automation, and Boomi AI. You can also click here on create start so you can save time on integration. You can also join community right here and select the connectors. So when you scroll down, you'll see a bunch of different pre-built solutions right here, such as NetSuite, Shopify integration accelerator, uh, connect Shopify orders to NetSuite via GraphQL, or the start connecting with any application. So now let's move on to integration. So let's click on integration right here. So as you can see, you can simply build an integration right here by clicking this. So you can click create automations right here. So this is the start step. So I won't be really going through how to create your automation right here. Just going to show you the features of Boomi. So from here, you can build new processes. So you will see all of the steps right here, such as this execute uh, commands. So you can map, set properties, message, notifications. So all of this are dra drag and drop. So as you can see, I just dragged message here on your board. So let's say message step, you can add the display name, the option, the messages, and the variables. Now, so if you're done uh, building your integration right here, you can simply click on uh, deployments, click on yes. And now uh, you will see all of the deployments right here. So let's just go back. So if you're quite um, confused yet on how to build your integration, again, in your home screen, there are a bunch of different video tutorials right here for your integrations. You can also create uh, or start with a template or example. So click here and start with an example, and you will explore the process or libraries. So as you can see, there's a bunch of different examples right here, such as Google Gemini LLM prompt. So you can simply click here and install to use this example. So let's just go back now. Let's say you want to create automations, you can simply here on task automation. Let's 
So the task automation feature is still on beta. So to get started, just click here, get started. You can now create new tasks to create an automation. So you can either start from scratch or select applications of your choice. You can also choose one trigger and one or multiple actions. So click next. So let's say, let's click here new task. Let's say uh, you want to create an automation for Slack. So let's select Slack. Select a Slack trigger. Let's say channel is created. So optional configuration. So you can add the channel name right here. Click and then do this. So you can add the action whenever a channel is created. So let's say Gmail. Send email. Now you can add it to email, subject, and the body. So this is what will happen whenever a channel is created. It will automatically send an email to the email address that you will put right here. Now you can simply click on Save Task when you're done. And that's how you can easily create task automation in Gloomy. So again, let's go back to explore the other features. So we have Data Hub right here, API Management, Flow, and Event Streams. So basically, the most important thing that you will be doing right here is the integration and automation. So if you want to explore more about this other features, you can simply watch the tutorials right here or click here on Resources on Training and Certification. And you'll see a bunch of different training materials right there. Right here, so simply uh, log into Bloomy Atom Sphere or create your or use your login right here. Also, have Discover right here in the top. As you can see, they have the latest AI solutions right here, the connectors. So, we have a bunch of different connectors such as Salesforce. Slack, Shopify, so you can uh, connect all of that in your Bloomy account. We have all solutions right here too. So as you can see, you can use all of these pre-made solutions, such as Advanced Parsing and Retrieval Agent with Entropic, Bloomy Design Gen, so this is an AI agent. This is a recipe, so all of these are mostly all AI agents. So again, just simply feel free to explore of all of the features of Boomi and you will now be using Boomi in no time. So that's basically it. So if you find this video helpful, please hit like and subscribe. Thanks.